Sadly, scams have become a part of everyday life. But we're here to help. Before we go any further, if you've already entered any personal information into a suspicious website, please contact Action Fraud on 0300 123 2040. If you've entered any card or bank details, please also contact your bank straight away. A phishing email or scam text is something sent by criminals trying to trick you into providing your personal information. Scammers can then pretend to be you and potentially access your bank account or convince you to make a payment to a false company. Nasty stuff. If you think you've received a scam email and want to report it, we're partnered with the National Cyber Security Centre. You can forward anything you suspect to be a scam email to them at report at That's report at phishing.gov.uk and they will investigate. If the email links to a scam website, it will be taken down or blocked so others won't be affected. Some of the scam communications copy our designs and use similar wording. They can be quite convincing, so here's how you can help protect yourself. This video will take you through each step in more detail. Step 1. Check the sender. Step 2. Check the personal details. Step 3. Check what's being asked of you. Step 4. Check the website and login information. If you're ever unsure, stop, check, ask. So, step one, check the sender. In an email, scammers often hide the real email address they're using. You should be able to see the real email address between these arrow symbols. But on a phone or tablet, you may need to select the sender's name or email address to show the actual email address. Genuine TV licensing emails are only sent from do not reply at tvlicensing.co.uk do not reply at spp.tvlicensing.co.uk or no reply at paypoint.com if you're using the TVL Pay app to pay for your license. Or if we're replying to an email you've sent us, our email address will still have tvlicensing.co.uk after the at symbol. Because scammers can't use our genuine TV licensing email addresses, they'll try to use them with slightly different spellings. So look out for things like hyphens and full stops in odd places. Our texts will always be from TV licensing, TVL SPP or TVL Pay. The only exception is if you're a TV licensing payment card customer and are asked to make a missed payment. This message will be sent from either 07786 200 611 or 07860 010 193 or 194. Step 2. Check the personal details. If we have your address details, most of our emails will include part of your postcode. If we have your name, then we'll always address you using your last name and title. Scammers won't normally have that information. So watch out for emails that say Dear Client or Dear Customer or just use your email address or part of it to address you. Step 3. Check what's being asked of you. Scammers often tell you that there's a problem with your account or you need to make a payment. TV licensing will only contact you about payments if you've missed one or your payment is late. Scammers may also say you can get a refund or a cheaper license. TV licensing will never do this unless you've contacted us and we're replying to you. If you receive an email or text with a link saying there's a problem with your online account or password or that you're due a refund, don't click on the link or enter any details into any website shown to you. Our techs will never ask you for any personal information such as credit or debit card numbers or your security code and we will never ask you to set up a payment plan by text message. Step 4. Check the website and login information. The safest way to check your information is to open a new browser window 
and go to the TV licensing website directly by typing tvlicensing.co.uk. If you're on our simple payment plan, it's spp.tvlicensing.co.uk or 75plan.tvlicensing.co.uk if you're on a 75 plus plan. To be absolutely safe, just double check the web address once you're there. Remember, it's one of these. Just so you know, when you're signing in, we won't ask for your mother's maiden name or your date of birth. And we won't ask you to enter your card details until you've signed in using your license number, last name and postcode. Top tip, always check your license number. Some scammers may try to trick you with a fake license number. Don't forget, you can always go to tvl.co.uk forward slash scams for more information. We know life is hectic and how genuine some scams can seem, so we're doing what we can to make sure you're safe and feel protected.